Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about Lenz's Law. Now Lenz's Law is something special, it's not quite on the data sheet but it's normally tested and it's the idea that this EMF that you make, this is Faraday's Law here, this EMF that is generated has actually got a negative sign in front of it. In fact that it's the opposite direction to the change that caused it. And what I'm going to do is explain why. So what I've got here is this has just got a normal piece of metal in it. And as you can hear, it's falling naturally. Now, this one has got a magnet in it. And it is falling much slower. OK. So if I just take it out here, take the lid off so you can actually see this. This one here, I'm going to tip them over at the same time. OK, uh, so this one here has got the normal metal in it. This one's got the magnet in it. One, two, three. So the one with the magnet took much longer to fall. And it's all to do with Lenz's law. So, <clears throat> let me explain. This here is um, a magnet falling through the actual pipe itself. Now what's going to happen is the pipe's made out of copper. Copper is quite a good conductor of electricity. It's got three electrons in it. So what's going to happen that these electrons in the copper are going to notice this object moving down. Okay. And so they're going to experience a change in flux because they're going to feel different parts of this magnetic field. So the wire or the tube experiences a change in flux. And because this is happening over time, this means the, that an EMF or a potential difference will be generated. This means the, so there's going to be a potential difference inside this copper tube. This means current will start to flow. Therefore, current will flow because there is a potential difference, because there is an electric field made. The direction of the current opposes the direction oops, that caused it. So this part here, this first part, these bits here, okay, these three are Faraday's. This here is lenses. Okay. And what I mean by this is exactly what was happening there. And it, that's a very visual way of seeing what was going on. The current that will flow will make sure that it opposes the object. So what will happen is the current will flow this way this is the current. Because if I use the right hand screw rule, that would be the north pole. And what it's actually doing is quite clever. This object has got gravitational potential energy. It is falling through. What this is doing, by having this north, this is slightly repelling the object, slowing it down. Which means that that GPE has got to go somewhere. And that GPE, that energy, is actually what's going into making the electric field. So Lenz's law is important because Lenz's law is all about this conservation of energy. 
This electric field has got to get, come from somewhere. It has to gain energy from somewhere. And it does so by taking it away from the um, object that is causing the change in magnetic field. So, as you can hear here, this object is falling quite rapidly. Well, this one is going to fall quite slowly. And the reason being is because as the object comes towards it, the, the current that is generated will basically oppose it. And this is all to do with conservation of energy. So Lenz's law here is about the conservation of energy. That for the object, to, for an EMF, an electric field to appear, a potential difference to appear. And just to remind you what potential is. Potential is energy. This is electric potential per unit charge. Energy. For that to appear out of nowhere, it has to take energy from somewhere. And it does so via creating a magnetic field which will depose the field that did that. For Lenz's law for exams, you need to understand that Lenz's law basically means that the current made will oppose the change that caused it. And what I've done here is I've written quite a bit explaining what's happening here, that the wire tube explains the change in flux, and that's important because that's Faraday's, that an EMF will be generated or a potential difference, an electric field will be made, which will mean current will flow. The direction of the current will oppose the direction that caused it. This idea that the current that may, will make a magnetic field that opposes the magnetic field that just caused it, which means it takes energy away from it. And that there is Lenz's law.